I'm Jessica. I'm Ashley. I'm A. Um. <laughs> Get it. I'm Crystal. I'm Taylor. And, and we, we are, are the Skittles. <laughs> Georgina. Henrisha. Alice. And we are the Big Ark. Aren't you guys? <laughs> and we, we are, are the Big Ark Army. Man. M A D. Team awesome. <laughs> the Trojans. Okay, well the competition is designed for school kids to have a say in the new um, city rebuild and the idea is each team chooses an anchor project like the stadium or the bus interchange and they each create a proposal about it like including design, funding, community benefits etc and then present it to the judges for judging. We are making a metro sports stadium for Christchurch. We're doing the square. Uh, we decided to make a convention centre. We chose the river, um, the Avon River precinct. We have a retail precinct that we made from scratch. Mm. <laughs> we have a cricket pitch in the middle so we can get more cricket played in Christchurch. A lot of people wanted a lolly stand. <laughs> Hydro slides mainly and gym equipment. Sustainable and open spaces, friendly. Yeah, green spaces and um, less paving. Those guys really, really wanted the basketball court, so we put a half of a basketball court in for them. Well, it's actually rather a what would you say? Quite Danny? peaceful design. More like for people who want to have a rest. Who feels like. My goodness, I really need to have a rest. Oh, here we go, we can go to Tony and Fraser's place they made. Hello, hello. hello. What have we got here? Yeah. Uh, it's a model. Yeah, it, yep. it went pretty well. We might have spent a lot of time on it, but the end result looks pretty good. And also we have some drawings just for reference for the judges to take on the crowd. We've designed our take on the Performing Arts Precinct, a multi-purpose theatre here, um, new court theatre. We have a main auditorium on the ground floor and up here we have a secondary theatre, um, 200 seats. We regrouped it all and then we like, we had the like printed it all out and stuff. So yeah, like, we've done a few more like visual things today. I think the competition is about really including young people and really getting their opinions um, so that we can actually try and figure out what can make a city great for everyone. So it's, it's looking at the earthquake and the rebuild of Christchurch through a child's eye, which is actually quite a unique way of looking at it. It's a really cool idea to let like, us have our say on what Christchurch should be like. And, yeah. like when I got the idea stuck in my head, I got really like pumped and excited about it and really wanted to do it. For them, feeling like they were a part of the rebuild was really important, that they had a say or that they could, could try to have a say was really important for them. What's amazing about this for them is that somebody is prepared to take their ideas seriously. That's actually the amazing part to these guys. They can come in and say, that part of the city didn't really work for us before, but these are the things that we can do so that you can invite us back in. Little kids places, just places that are fun for all ages. Yeah. There's a skate park and a stage and a court all in one. We have our musical fountain, sort of almost like, you know, the Bellagio, sort of, something like that. They've really tried to be original and they've tried to make things that will work. If you want a good team helping to build the future of Christchurch, you could take away a group of these children and you'd be all right. I wanted to do a memorial on the earthquakes because like a place where people can go to like say really an actual goodbye. It's just perfect for what teens usually think about. Close, safe. So the designs that I'm really quite amazed at I suppose are those that haven't lost their child's eye view but have come through with ideas and concepts that could be translated into practice and actually applied as real projects. They've done some really deep learning and some of it would be way beyond their year level if we were limiting them to what we expect a year seven and eight to be able to achieve. 
very challenging and it actually got me to try out new things on Google SketchUp. It's really important to push the kids outside uh, siloed learning and, and schools have a lot of siloed learning. It's just something you don't normally do in a school. Normally in school you just teach what's in the curriculum, everything's basically the same, you go on your nice field trips and everything else, but this was more real. It feels like you actually have some power over what's going to happen in the city. In these trees we would hang hearts made of recycled glass to symbolise the people of Christchurch's loving, compassionate hearts. I think they've also learned um, to appreciate other people's ideas and thoughts um, and realise that actually three minds are better than one. I think that there should be more things like this, especially with the future and the design of Christchurch, to have the young people involved, having a say, and their voice get, getting out there in this way, I think is really important. So, yeah, more of it. I think they want something that will make them want to stay in this city. It should be like more attractive, because now it's just, it's not really a place that anybody would really want to be when they're older. Like, yeah. Yeah, there's not much to do here and we just want something to do. There's not a lot attracting us to the city at the moment, but I know that there's so many cool plans. If they have gone, I know if they do follow through with all of those, it would be pretty tempting to stay here for the rest of my life. This is a way of reconnecting them with what their future will be and actually being a part of their future. Well, I think Christchurch needs some more like original and interesting things. I think a lot more exciting buildings that will bring more tourists in. More activities like swimming pools and ice skating rinks, I guess. It'd be really nice to have a new city to build. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of plants and the river featuring quite a lot. It needs like more personality. If we can make it feel modern and homely at the same time, it'll make people want to go there. Making it modern, but also having the same values that, have, that old Christchurch had. I'd like Christchurch to be an awesome new city with tons of new buildings, completely state-of-the-art architecture, just to show that Christchurch has had a bad earthquake, but good things can come out of that, and it'll be a place that everybody wants to visit now. Kind of appealing now to stay in the city. Like, we when we're older we and bring up families in the city because we've been part of the de development of the city, so it makes it more exciting. Yeah. Quite, quite serious bit of space. Okay, so that's a contender. It's yeah. so really important for New Zealand, how Christchurch is brought back. And it can't just be any generic city, it has to be something that's special, you know, an amazing place, you know, what, what the new Christchurch will be. I, I think at best all of these proposals gave us something new rather than something that we were already familiar with. So a very sustainable building made in an innovative way with an innovative construction technique with photovoltaics, with a, a dome that allowed you to climb up this koru, um, another playground. Um, this was really imaginative, wasn't it? Very detailed, a very difficult thing to take on a big bit of open space in the city, particularly when you're so young. This one really warmed our hearts because it's a, a great mall and actually it's the hardest thing to do is to provide a great mall and what these kids have realised possibly instinctively is that you need two things to make a successful city. You need social diversity and you need um, great open space. That normally <coughs> is surrounded by the car park. They've got the car park yeah. and dealt with that in another way. Yeah. They've done that extraordinarily well, I think. I mean, we all felt that this could exist in, in a second year architecture school project. It's a very clear idea about um, cultures coming together in um, the form of a restaurant that has different different tasting experiences surrounded by a place where everyone comes together in the middle. So this is unbelievably comprehensive. This is a um, very clear model that's imaginative and um, beautifully made. And each of these things, like the bridge, is then further developed and explained in a little pull-out graphic. And this is really a sculpture trail um, through the city that um, links the anchor projects and provides a structure and a backbone to a to a fractured city. This one had made a model, they'd done a presentation, they'd made a report, and it was also quite thorough in terms of how they imagined it could be realised. So they were getting people to sponsor each one of these squares. They saw it as a part that could move around the city. In year 10, 
we loved the clarity, the kind of the bold and mad idea about making a, um, a seismograph sculpture. That's a device that measures the intensity of an earthquake. And this is the earthquake, the February earthquake. This is the equivalent seismograph reading of that. And five is the heart. It's a big task to transform this cathedral square. But we liked the ambition of this and liked the thorough, um, thorough kind of research that underpinned how you might go about transforming the square. This was a very thorough um, proposal that in an architectural presentation had everything there. It had a model, it had a visual presentation on a stick that had hand sketches and drafted plans and elevations of a building. So very, very mature, very comprehensive. And then year 12, we've shortlisted four schemes in this category and they're all very diverse. The library, the public realm, this research project and this green scheme. The thing that I think um, needs to be emphasised is the compelling yes, nature. Yes, compelling. The, the, Make us fall in love. Convince us, fall in love, don't give us a PowerPoint presentation, come yeah. and in, in talk. Win our hearts. That's it, win our hearts. Mm. You've won our minds here, win our hearts. Yeah. Yeah. Each of the schemes that we've shortlisted today or, or chosen as winners have made a difference. They've given us something new and fresh and exciting. And you instinctively know when a good bit of public realm works. You're drawn to it, you know, and you want to linger. I think I feel good that in all of these cases, people would do that, you know. Isn't it good when you're at the age where you say, wouldn't it be neat to do that? Yeah, absolutely. And somebody says, me now, and off you go, you know? Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> and we lose that in society. really going to be a city for the young people, which is why we wanted to get the young people having a real say in what this, what this new town is going to look like. The judges have spoken highly of the standard of entries in the latest phase of the competition. And so my congratulations to all the winners. Starting with the Year 7 Awards, the runners-up for the BNZ Amazing Place Project Competition Year 7 are Nia Harrison and Nina Noble. Lydia O'Callaghan, Katie Morrison, and Lila Madden. First equal prize to all three teams. So the process tonight with the Year 12 and 13s was the exciting slash complicated element where four of them at Year 12 and 13 level had to live pitch their idea or their project to the judges. The new Christchurch City Central Library. We have sought to provide a wide range of rich and rewarding experiences in the retail precinct. Growing organically, the space works alongside the emergent culture on its way up in Christchurch, consisting of three phases. Our development of the Avon River will increase interaction and give the city a vibrant, modern feel in areas which have not been focused on in the past. So I will ask the judges now to convene and to make their final decisions. So we have a runner-up and we have a winner. Yeah. Well done. It's great. It's done, judges. Well done. Well done. The runners-up for years 12 and 13 are Team Library from Middleton Grange. The winners are 13 from Middleton Grange. We well, said quite a bit tonight actually that you know people like me getting a bit old and, and really the rebuild is, is the future, it's, it's these children and, and young adults' future, it's their city of the future. So for them to have a role in it in this way is absolutely outstanding and it's uh, yeah, quite emotional really, it's fantastic.